So I want to start doing opinion videos. This is the first experiment. So first off, what do you guys think? Should I just do it like this? Or should I do it sticks hex and hammer style? All right, everyone. I don't have the body for that. Never mind. Hey everybody and welcome back. So this is actually going to be a new type of video for this channel. I'm going to be discussing the Roseanne controversy and the NFL's new rule requiring the players to stand for the anthem. The reason I'm talking about both in the same video is because there have been people trying to make arguments between the two and trying to compare the two of them due to the fact that we supported the NFL requiring players to stand for the anthem and we are pissed off at ABC for canceling Roseanne because of what she tweeted. First of all, let's go ahead and get this out of the way right now. Freedom of speech means that the government cannot punish you for anything that you say. Also, it must be noted that private corporations are allowed to make rules regarding speech when you are on company time. For example, businesses requiring that you not use foul language or companies that require you say happy holidays instead of Merry Christmas. All companies have that right, but the customer also has a right to have a problem with those policies. For example, I have a problem with companies that require you to say happy holidays because I don't think you should be required to say a certain holiday greeting in order to not offend anybody. Honestly, I also think that you're a prick that needs to pull your head out of your ass if you get offended by a holiday greeting just because it's not the holiday you celebrate, but I digress. That being said, the NFL had the right to make their policy regarding the national anthem and on that same token, ABC had the right to cancel Roseanne after her tweet. Do I agree with their decisions? Well, in the case of the NFL, yes, I do agree. But in the case with ABC, I disagree. Now I'll start with the NFL. Now my reasonings for disagreeing with the NFL is I think the players should be required to respect the anthem and the flag and keep their politics off of the field. If you don't love the American flag you can't kiss my country ass. If they want to protest, I want them to protest and exercise their First Amendment right, but I want them to keep it off the field so I can enjoy my football without worrying about political shit. I watch football to escape, not to be bombarded with more political bullshit. Addressing the NFL's actual protest, I also believe that their protests were bullshit. They claimed to be protesting police brutality, Ow! Police brutality! Police brutality with no compelling evidence to prove that there is a police brutality problem. I'm not denying that it happens, but I don't believe that it has anything to do with racist cops or targeting black people or whatever. Nor do I believe that police brutality is on the scale of which they try to claim. They also claim to be protesting the oppression of black people which they have also shown no compelling evidence to prove. Hell, in my opinion, it's contradicted by the fact that 75% of the NFL are black men that are making more in a year than I will ever see in my lifetime. Now, this is the free market at work. Customers for the NFL pulled off a successful boycott, which caused the NFL to lose enough money to put that policy in place. Now, some people won't watch the NFL for a long time, if ever, because of the anthem protest, but a lot of people will go back to watching and the NFL may be able to recover their losses from the last season. We'll just have to see. Now on to Roseanne. I don't think the tweet was that bad. All she did was compare Valerie Jarrett to an ape. Which to be fair... Now like what I just said, her tweet was a joke. I don't think there was a problem with it, but if you think it was in poor taste, that's fine. She apologized for it and deleted it, so I think that warrants forgiveness. ABC had every right to cancel the show for the tweet, but I disagree with this decision. I disagree because the show was number one on the network, and Roseanne wrote the tweet on her own time. I personally think that whatever you do off the clock is your own business, and unless you're leaving burning crosses on people's front yards, your boss shouldn't really give a shit what you do on your personal time. I also believe that ABC is going to suffer for it. Even a Fox News article projects that they will lose 10 million in ad revenue. Damn, I wish YouTubers could get 10 million in ad revenue. 
If there is enough backlash, it honestly could cost them more. Now, there are arguments being made that conservatives are suppressing the NFL players' freedom of speech while calling out ABC for taking away Roseanne's freedom of speech. WRONG! We are calling out ABC and the far left for being hypocrites. They claim it's racist and prejudiced to call Valerie Jarrett an ape, but we can call Trump an orangutan? The color of his hair. Yeah. And the color of an orange orangutan is the only two things in nature of the same color. So, uh, <laughs> is that what this picture is? Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah. I, mean, I couldn't believe that Donald Trump won. I couldn't believe that we elected an orangutan to run the country. I couldn't believe it. I was like, you fucking kidding me? We voted, they voted for an orangutan? This is ridiculous. Now everyone on the left needs to pick a side. Either all of those comments, including Roseanne's, are okay, or none of them are okay. Why are all of those people allowed to make jokes about Trump with no network consequences, but when Roseanne makes a joke about an Obama staff member, she needs to have her show terminated, putting the entire cast and crew out of work? The reason I disagree with the ABC decision isn't just because they are punishing an employee for something they did on their spare time that had no effect on the company. The other reason I disagree with the ABC decision is because I don't believe they give a shred of a shit about the tweet, to be honest. I believe they wanted to remove Roseanne from the network due to the fact that Roseanne, both in real life and on the show, support Donald Trump. They axed two of their most popular shows, Last Man Standing. Wow. Hillary Clinton's asking us for money. Will her string of mistakes never end? <laughs> The hits keep on coming, but she'll never top Benghazi. That's her stairway to heaven. Yeah, it's the kind of screw-ups that happen when you spend all your free time deleting emails. <laughs> it's not a mistake. I donated to Hillary. I think it's time. Well, I think it's time to pierce my broken heart with this knife. And Roseanne. The only two shows that featured right-leaning characters. And I don't believe that to be a coincidence. I believe that because of the backlash from canceling Last Man Standing and the fact that Roseanne was just as popular, they used the tweet as an excuse to axe the show in order to lessen the backlash. And assuming I'm right, it didn't work. <laughs> in conclusion, we are not suppressing the NFL's right to free speech by demanding they stand for the anthem, and we are not denying ABC their right to fire Roseanne. In both cases, we deemed their actions to be wrong and we used our wallets to tell them such. The free market is the best tool for protesting the actions of companies because all companies need money, and if they lose money for an unpopular decision, they will most likely reverse that decision. And if they don't, they will suffer the losses. Anyway, that is all for this video. Now, whether you agreed or disagreed with my opinions, please let me know what you thought of this new type of video in the comments section below. If you happen to disagree with me, Feel free to have a discussion with me about it. I'll discuss opinions in the comments section when I get the chance. I'll even go on a live stream debate with you if you want to talk about it. But let me know what you thought of this new type of video. If people liked it, I'll keep doing more of them. If you're new to the channel and you like what I had to say, please hit the subscribe button. Tap that little bell because that's the best bet you have at getting notifications because YouTube is fucking with the subscription feeds now. You can follow me on Twitter at hey underscore dude 77 and until next time, catch y'all later. If you got a problem with that, <laughs> you can kiss my country.